So we had a look at how to set up PayPal Express checkout and we had a look at Authorize.net as well. But basically when you're working on internet, the first thing that pops into your mind is Google. So Google has a payment option available within Magento Go as well. So in this video tutorial, we'll have a look at Google Checkout. Now to do so, I'm back into my dashboard. This is the main dashboard of my store. And like before, I will go to System and then scroll down to Configuration. Once the main configuration page is open, I'll scroll down and find sales on the left hand side. And instead of actually going into payment methods, I will actually go to Google API. All right, now on this page, a lot of Google API will be displayed. So let's have a look at those. So the, so the first one is actually called Google Analytics. When you open it, the only option you can actually have here is to enable it. If you click on yes, it will ask you for your account number and a few other information. Now Google Analytics is all to do about the statistics on your actual website. So how many customers or visitors you get per day, per month and so on. You can sign up for Google Analytics and actually enter this information here and then you'll be able to actually follow the so-called traffic through your online store. Moving down, you'll come to Google AdWords. Now, now, if you wish to use Google AdWords, what Google AdWords is, is actually, it enables you to advertise on Google web page. So if you would like to know more about Google AdWords, I would strongly suggest that you actually read about and learn about Google AdWords as well. This is a paid service, but it's a very good marketing tool. And once you have actually signed up for Google AdWords, you will come here and enter the required information in the fields below. Moving down, we'll come to Google Shopping. Once again, this is something that you can enable on your site. And first of all, you would have to sign up for Google Shopping, then enter your account ID, and then set up a few other options as well. Moving down, I will actually skip this one for now and come back to it. There is a Google Checkout Shipping, and this is Merchant Calculated. So once again, you can enable it. And then you can add shipping methods to your, meth shipping methods to your site. Moving down, there's also Google Checkout Shipping. So you would enable it. Then you would select your career calculated methods and you will set up the rest of the required fields. Then there's a flat rate shipping. So actually I spoke about this a little bit before. So if your shipping is a flat rate, so for example, $5, you can do that here as well. You can select the countries and enter all the required information here and then your customers will be able to actually use Google Checkout Shipping which is a flat rate. And the last one is actually Digital Delivery. So basically what happens here is that you would enable it and this is probably for some you know products like software and something like that. So your customers can actually use uh, Google Checkout Shipping Digital Delivery. Or maybe, you know, if you're selling some sort of uh, pictures and something like that, you can use this as well. Where you actually do not have to ship out anything physical to your customers, but, you know, sh um, actually you can ship it online. Alright, so in this video tutorial, we're going to look at Google Checkout. And like we did before, let's open it up and see what we actually have here. First of all, is actually to enable it or disable it once again. Make sure if you're using Google Checkout that you click on yes here and that you actually save your configuration in order to actually enable this on your online store. Then we come to the title, then there is the sandbox, you can either choose yes or no. Then there is a secure callback URL. Now the, this URL is actually required if you are uh, doing some live Google Checkout transactions. So if you're not into live Google Checkout transactions, you will leave this as no. Should you say yes, now you will be actually enabling the secure uh, callback URL. So I'll just leave it no for now. Now the next two fields are the fields that you're going to get when you actually sign up for Google Checkout. So there's a merchant ID and merchant key. So we'll get that when we actually sign up for Google Checkout. Then you can actually choose uh, different sizes of image. So you can go from large to small, medium and so on. Then you will choose your location and then you will come to new order status. So you can actually choose here pending. And when there is a new order, pending information will actually be displayed. When it comes to continue shopping URL. So basically when a customer is on your site and buys a product, this is the this is the actual address where they will be redirected once they actually click on continue shopping. So well, this is 
optional as you can see and you can leave it empty for actually going to your home page then there's the option to actually hide the card contents you can go yes or no you can disable or enable the default text tables and the last option here is actually to enable using shipping rates from Google account now there's a bit of a warning here so if you do enable this option it will override the current Google checkout shipping rates so you can either go yes or no so basically once again all the information that we need from Google are those two fields that we have to fill in so that's the merchant ID and the merchant key alright so let's move up a bit and we'll actually click on sign up for Google checkout this will now open a new page and this will now actually open this page here now you can see that there's actually some changes to Google checkout and you can see that as from November the 20th 2013 the check Google checkout will actually be called Google Wallet and Google checkout will not actually be available as such you can find a bit more actually by clicking on learn more here and this will actually open a new page where you actually find a bit more information about that as well so let's go back and other than that here you find some information about the Google checkout so Google checkout is, is still running until the November 20th and basically they tell you here that it, you can sell worldwide in more than 140 countries and that you can actually convert more sales basically because Google Google is such a big name and basically it's really secure and you can protect yourself from fraud so let's go ahead and actually enter our email address so basically you will have to sign up with Google and after that you will enter your information here and you will log in alright so I'll click on sign in alright this is actually the same page as we had before so here you find some information of what's actually happening with Google checkout so Google checkout once again will not be available as such after the November 20th and unfortunately actually Google will not provide a service to customers or to actual online stores uh, as Google but basically you can find some other third party that are actually in partnership with Google like before you'll find here on the left hand side a menu so retiring Google checkout and there's the announcement there's actually Google Play developers closing your Google checkout account removing Google checkout account orders chargebacks and refunds receiving your final payment and special features so basically what I would pretty much suggest is that if you really do not wish to use Google checkout is probably the best thing is actually to wait after the November the 20th however if you're ready to start selling straight away I would suggest that you actually do go ahead and you do sign up for Google checkout as Google is a big name on the internet and definitely will provide you with more customers and basically there will be more secure purchasing on your site so once again if you really really want to sign up for Google checkout straight away do so otherwise I would strongly suggest that you actually wait after the November 20th and actually see how Google Wallet will actually look like and what Google Wallet will offer you you can also find some of that information here already and if you're really thinking about getting into Google checkout or Google Wallet I strongly suggest you read through all this once again if you're ready to start selling straight away go ahead and sign up and when you are done with signing up you'll come back to your Google checkout page here you will click enable yes and then you would enter your merchant ID and merchant key which will be provided when you're actually signing up and creating your account with Google alright so let's sum up the Magento Go payment options so we have actually seen that there are actually three different available categories within Magento Go payment options and to access all of them you would go system and then go down to configuration once you're in configuration you will scroll down to sales and we have actually seen some of the payment methods so if you click on payment methods a new page will open up which will actually show you all the available payment methods within the Magento Go so we have actually seen how to uh, set up PayPal Express checkout and we had a look at authorize.net at the end in this tutorial video we went to Google API here we have seen many different Google APIs that you can actually apply to your online store and one of them is actually the Google Checkout. 
also we have seen that Google Checkout will be changing its name to Google Wallet and there's there are going to be some changes and I believe Magento Go system will actually correct its system to actually meet those changes with actual Google Checkout. So basically once you have set up any of these checkout options, you're ready to start selling your products and actually getting some money into your account.